Good evening. How is everybody doing today? Good, good. I am Pamela Trafton. I'm the Senior Neighborhood Improvement Services Coordinator. I'm also the Staff Liaison for the Jacksonville Youth Council. And I welcome you to our fifth meeting of the 2022-2023 calendar year. At this time, I am going to call Mr. Keyshawn Morris to come up and lead us into the Pledge of Allegiance. May everyone please stand. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. So as part of our welcome, I wanted to introduce what the Jacksonville Youth Council is. If this is your first time here, let me see a show of hands. This is your first time? All right, got a few first hands. Um, so the Jacksonville Youth Council is our youth-led civic organization that is hosted with our city of Jacksonville. We operate just as if you see the mayor and the city council members. However, it is all youth-led. So we have a chairperson and we have officers that are here with us. So would our officers please stand? All right. Thank you, thank you. And the goal of it is for us to engage and interact with the youth in Onslow County and Camp Lejeune. We would love to see more youth from all the Onslow County schools and from Camp Lejeune High School come together once a month to talk about what are the issues that are facing youth today and help kind of come up with some solutions that will help kind of navigate through those issues that they have identified. Uh, we are an organization that has been in existence over 20 years. Um, one of the great things that has come from our youth council being in existence is across the street we have the, Onslow, the Jacksonville Youth Center. That was born out of the words from the youth at that time that said we needed somewhere for the youth to meet. And at the time, the youth at that time in 1998, they met with then Mayor George Jones, had a conversation with them, and the youth center was born. So we have had multiple opportunities. We've um, partnered with other organizations. If there's an issue and youth are needed, Youth Council is definitely an organization that is looked upon to help bring forth word. And we are looking to grow. Um, COVID, as you know, took a hit on a lot of us and Youth Council was not immune to COVID. So that's why we are definitely in an expansion period. So I challenge you, if you are here with us today or you are watching us, whether it's on YouTube later on or on Facebook later on, that you bring your friends, tell them to come out. It's a great opportunity to put it on your college resume when you're ready to start applying for colleges and they're asking what have you been involved in, what organizations have you been a part of, Jacksonville Youth Council is a great organization to put on your resume. Uh, now that we are kind of back in traveling mode, in the past we've gone to um, college tours. We've actually had an opportunity since I've been here to attend Duke University. We went to NC State. We've been to St. Augustine, um, just to name a few. And we had a few more on the list, but then COVID took place. So in this upcoming year, as long as nothing changes, our plans is to be back in action and going on college tours. So a few activities that we do have coming up that you are welcome to participate with us in, and I am asking you to participate in, 
If you did not get a copy of the agenda, please make sure you get one on the way out. These are our upcoming activities that we have coming forth. The first one is our Martin Luther King Day of Service, which is to keep the dream alive march. That is an annual activity that is taking place in the community that we have partnered with them before in March. And this year we will be participating again. It is on Monday, January 16th. Everyone is out of school that day already. So the only thing that you need is a ride to get here to City Hall. We'll meet at 10 a.m. The march itself is from 11 to 12, and it starts at City Hall. It goes down to the courthouse, and it comes back to City Hall. So for ride purposes, this is the beginning and the ending. And parents and advisors, you are more than welcome to march in it as well. So that will take place on January 16th. And then our next events that are coming out forthcoming will be our Mayor Youth Summit. That takes place on a Saturday, March 25th from 9 to 2. The topics that we're going to do for this Youth Summit is geared towards getting ready for job readiness, how to actually prepare yourself. So this is in partnership with the MCCS services on Camp Lejeune. We're actually doing the partnership for the JYC Volunteer and Job Fair as well. That is an annual event that's taking place on April 29th. That event will allow students to come in that are looking for employment opportunities and looking for volunteer opportunities. And it is a true job fair that will take place on April 29th. To prepare you for the job volunteer job fair, April 27th, that's a new event. We're calling that the JYC elevator pitch. How many of you know what an elevator pitch is? All right, so I'm gonna come with the mic. And I want you to tell me in your words, what is an elevator pitch? Uh, so what I remember from an elevator pitch is basically like how to get your idea out and how to get your point across in a very limited amount of time and like hit the big points fast. And if you have more time, the little points later. So for everyone that understood, how many of you have rode in an elevator before? All right. How long are you in an elevator? Got a couple seconds, okay. All right, how long are you in an elevator? It would depend on which floor you're trying to get to okay. and also the building. All right, so give me a roundabout. How many minutes, seconds, hours? I'd say minutes. Minutes, how many minutes? Like three. Three minutes, okay. All right, three minutes is a good time. So let's say you are riding in the elevator and you're on the second floor going up to the fifth floor. And all of a sudden the door opens on the second floor and your favorite celebrity walks in the door. I want you to picture that. So tell me who would be your favorite celebrity. How many got a favorite celebrity? Okay. Who's your favorite celebrity? Um, mine would be Jarvis Landry, a uh, receiver in the NFL. Receiver in the NFL? Okay. Did you have one? Okay. Mine would be Odell Beckham Jr., who's also a receiver in the NFL. Kevin Hart, an active comedian. Kevin Hart, okay. So you're in the elevator with NFL players and Kevin Hart. And you have 
maybe three minutes before you get off the elevator, do you know what you would say in those three minutes or would you be starstruck and lose out on your three minutes? You're gonna choke? <laughs> <laughs> so that is the purpose of our elevator pitch is for you to be ready when those three minutes of shine show up and be able to say exactly what you want to say how you need to say it and get your point across in three minutes or less so I'll leave you with that all right So then next we have to help prepare us is a great partnership that we have embarked into for the 2023 year. This partnership is with Onslow County Health Department and it is a program called Catch My Breath, e-vaping prevention program. And at this time, I'm going to call up our, I almost gave it away. Um, <laughs> I am going to call up from the Oslo County Health Department, Miss Amy Small, and with Miss Amy is Miss Elisa Jackson. <laughs> Hello, good evening. My name is Amy Small. This is Alyssa, and we're here from the Onslo County Health Department. Um, can anyone tell me? So Sherry took one of my questions and that was, is everybody super excited to be back at school? And I didn't see a whole lot of answers on that. So I'm going to go ahead and with that, that nobody is super excited. No, not super excited. Routine. Don't we like routine? I like routine. All right. So Onslow County Health Department, does anybody know something the health department does? One thing. Have you ever heard of the health department? Yeah, can you raise your hand? Have you heard of the health department? Yeah. So what do you think it might do? It has to do with health. What might we do? Anybody have I have I have things to give out. If you have does that help? I got one hand over here. Um, help make new medicine. Say that one more time. Help make new medicine help make new medicine. So we don't make new medicine, but we do give out vaccines. Medicine, yeah, we can make referrals. Um, we also, so that's what I didn't want her to give away, we also do health education. And so that's what Alyssa and I do, that's our main job, is to help educate the community on all different kinds of health concerns um, going on in the community. So as Ms. Pam said, and thank you for inviting us here today. We're very excited and we're hoping to get to spend a couple of months with you at your next couple of meetings. Um, but yeah, so one of the things that we do is go out and educate the community about different things. And Ms. Pam said that, Ms. Trafton said that we are gonna be doing um, e-vaping prevention um, in the next couple of months. So, um, can we go to the next slide? All right, so I wanna start with talking about how do we make wise choices? What's something we do, just any choice. If you're putting on your clothes for the day, if you're packing your lunch, how do you make a wise choice? What's something you might do? Nothing? You don't wanna just hear me speak up here, do you? For sure you don't. I have other things. Nothing? Nothing. We have something. For the clothes part, I would think, like, is this school appropriate? There you go. Is it appropriate? Right? What does the weather look like outside? We, we ask ourselves these questions all the time, and we don't even think about it. It's preparing. We're preparing to go to school. We're preparing for vacation. Um, but we ask ourselves all these questions 
to lead up to it. We don't just make a choice. We, we ask ourselves, we just sometimes don't realize that's what we're doing. Um, so Alyssa has three containers over here, two bags and a container, I guess. And so if I told you there were things in there that I wanted to give to you, because there are, and you got to choose which one you wanted to get the items out of, what kind of questions might you want to ask me about them? Are there questions that you can think of? I think you have a question. You're thinking real hard. No? Would you not want, go ahead. What is in the bag? What is in the bag? That's a great question. All right, so can we have another one? You are desperate. <laughs> Why the bag? Why is it in a bag? Is that the, was that the question? Yeah. That's a good question. That's a good question. Why is it in a bag? Why are two of them in bags and one's in... I don't even know what that is. Something we found around the office. Um, so what about, where did, you, where did you get the one in the green mm. container, right? Where did you get the stuff from? Do you want to know? Because one may have trash in it, right? One might not have trash in it. May, one may have something fun in it. Um, so these are, the, these are some questions that we want to ask, right? If somebody offers you something, you want to ask, where'd that come from? What's in it? What's in it for me? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Um, if you guys, if you want to, if they want to go ahead and pick a bag, that's fine. They can have something in it. We had three, right? I got three questions. The gentleman in the blue over here too. We can go to the next slide too. And the gentleman in the blue, I think, right? Didn't you, you ask me a question? I thought one of you guys asked me a question. No? He, she's like, yeah, say you did. <laughs> All right. So what if somebody handed you something like this? or offered you something like that? Would we ask what's in it, right? Do you have, you have a question? Or do you, you know something you would ask? Yes. Okay. Is the thing in the bag something safe that I should take? Ah, I like it. I like where you're going. I like where you're going with this. It may not be something safe or something we should have. And I share it with family and friends. Right. Good, good. Those are good. All really good. Um, yeah. And so when we look at these items up here, we would want to ask questions, right? We don't want to just take something. We have no idea what's in there. We don't know what it's made of. Um, we don't know what the little contraption is. I'm going to assume. Till I did education on it, I didn't know what it com was composed of and all the makings of it. So we want to talk about making good choices. Good's not a good word. I don't like using the word good. Wise choices, positive choices, positive health choices, right? And we can't do that if we don't have information. If we don't know what the weather is outside, we don't know what kind of clothes to put on, right? We can go to the next one. So Catch My Breath is the name of the program, um, Youth Vaping Prevention Program. It is a four session program. So what we're going to do is start in February. So we'll come in February and kind of at the end of your session, we'll do it. It's about 30 minutes. Um, it is youth led, youth led, not me led. It's youth led. So it'll be a lot of you guys taking control of it, learning and discussing with your peers. Okay. Because it's one thing for me to stand up here and say, don't do this and don't do that. But it's something different if you guys learn it and then you know what you're putting out. You know what you're bringing back to your friends. You know what you're saying and the, the um, peer pressures and how to answer to the peer pressures. You know more about that than I do. So I, I'm going to assume I'm going to learn just as much from you as you're going to learn from us. Um, we can go to the next one. I just thought that was funny. Because the e-cigarette companies, they are targeting teens. They're targeting all kinds of different demographics, but they're definitely targeting teens. Um, and knowing that and knowing how they're targeting you um, is also an information piece that's going to be really helpful. Um, you can go to the next one. 
And so that is the last one. Well, there's one more. She's going to circle the right key. <laughs> the right key for the job. Um, are there any questions so far? We're going to have fun as long as you participate with me. Back and forth. So how come we are, how come vapes are becoming more of a dangerous threat than like tobacco products? That's a great question. And it's actually something we are going to cover in our sessions. We're going to look at the anatomy of the vape, the e-cigarette, what it looks like, what it does, how it works. Um, the stuff that goes in it. We're going to talk about what the companies tell you are in it. And we're going to talk about what the research says that's, that's in them, um, how it affects your body, um, what it does, what it doesn't do. How are young people like us able to get a hold of the vapes? Like, isn't it illegal? You guys are just too smart. You're going to go through all my sessions already. <laughs> You're right. Ding, ding, ding. You're absolutely right. It is illegal, but... As we know, a lot of people get a hold of things that aren't legal, right? Yeah. We get a hold of things that we're not supposed to be getting a hold of. So we're going to talk about that as well. And there is a, I have some information in some bags that we're going to pass out. Um, and there's information in it. There's a parent letter in there that will give some additional information as to what we're going to talk about. Um, there's also goes down the different topics. And there was something else I was going to tell you was in there. Oh, it's not in there, but we are going to do a pre and post um, survey as well. And you won't have to put your name or anything on it. You're not identifying yourself, but it just asks your question. And we're going to test your knowledge about e-cigarettes before and then after the four sessions, just to see if what we did was effective in teaching. Any more questions? Everybody's excited, right? So excited? Yes. All right. I got one. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. I am finished, but um, if I can pass out, if we can pass out those bags, is that okay? Absolutely. Or would you rather us wait till after? No, nope, we can go ahead and pass them out. Okay. Now. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's give Miss Amy Small a round of applause. And as she stated, it is coming up for the next four sessions. So they will be in conjunction with our youth council meetings. So we'll still start at 5 o'clock. And then after we go through the business of the Jacksonville Youth Council, then we'll go right into our um, Catch My Breath series. So that way we'll cover both sessions. Um, the good thing about the sessions is that if somebody that you know should have been here today that wasn't able to get here today or you're like, oh, I want my friends to come, they are still more than welcome to come to every meeting that we have, every session that we have coming up. Um, because I'm sure as us adults here have experienced high school already, however many years ago it was, we know that you are probably experiencing the same things that we experienced and probably at a more alarming rate than what we experienced as well. So trust us, we're not that old. All right? We're not that old. Not, we're not that old. We're not that old. But is there any questions, anything um, that you like to see coming up? There will be food at the next ones. So if that makes you come because there's food, there will be food. <laughs> but we look forward to seeing you coming back. And if nothing else, we are adjourned for the night.